Hey Duke, Thub, good morning. Today is one of those days of the week that I don't really have anywhere super good to go. But I know of a couple spots that are okay. They're not great. So we're gonna try something a little different. This time, I'm gonna stack them all together. I'm gonna run really quickly between three, okay, maybe two, I don't know. Run back and forth and see if we can put together a halfway decent day out of a stack of them. Let's check this out. Alrighty, our first stop is out here. Got some glass up in that. And we chose this one first because this is the closest to downtown, so it is the most competitive. Now there's definitely already been plenty of folks picking this area throughout the course of the week, but because it's so densely populated, I still find something, generally. Nothing yet. An empty bin. You should track where he ends up and check out the bin a little later on. Oh. Hello. Happy surprise. I wish that was a stash of bottles. But sure ain't. Sounds like a stack of dishware. Oh. Ugh. Those glass ones are really kind of bumming me out. Ah, they're just so heavy. Ooh, a Telus car. Vacuum cleaner. And it's got the wire on it. Ain't so bad. I don't have my clippers on me right now. Well, now it is positively destitute out here. If the weather wasn't so nice, I'd be getting seriously bummed. Oh. Oh, would you just look at that? It's a lot of glass to be carrying. A lot of glass. Well, this place sucks, so why don't you guys come back when we try a different spot? Okay, slight delay. Um, I got a little stuck, again. It doesn't actually look that bad, but it's really hard to get out of this part. So, this time, the snowplow guy is gonna help me. I don't know how much this is gonna help. But I've been borrowing some of the neighbor's mulch to try and add some friction. That doesn't help much either. Yeah, fingers crossed. Well, thank you, Mr. Snowplow. I, we got out. The, um, his plowing, I didn't think it was gonna help because he didn't actually get that close to the vehicle, but I ended up having to do a five billion point turn and after getting pointing straight out towards the road, the uh, clear path that he had plowed was actually really helpful. So that worked out great. Now, oh snap. I see he's another bottle picker. Hold on, I'm gonna go ask him which parts he's already done. Hey. hey! Which parts have you already done? I did these two alleyways over there. Just the ones going this way? Yeah. Okay, sweet. He didn't want to be on camera, but he only did these two right here. So, uh, we're good to go over there. But this one here is kind of my gauge, because oftentimes they have bottles stashed up there, but they don't today. So, sometimes they're in here.
Nope. Really nice glass one, though. But nothing else. So that means somebody's already been through here. I did find these. Uh, so we're doing okay so far. Let's go to the next spot. So I haven't been recording absolutely every little thing this morning. Let me just catch you guys up to speed. Oh, one sec. Ah, another dollar. Sometimes a bin just looks really full and it's out of the way, so I think like, hey, it's got potential. Might as well have a peek and it doesn't always work out, but sometimes, sometimes. Hey, quick update. I just uh, just ran into these fellas at this job site, so um, let me show you. Oh, oh, he's turning. Okay, you see that bin? Yeah. Yeah, I saw those doors back there. And, um, Wow, come on, all right. So, I wouldn't just up and take them, but I ran into the boys that was uh, running the show and asked them if they were, if they had plans for the doors, and they said, nope, and it helped me load up the, these two right here. They're pretty nice. Um, 36 inch. So I think that's a fairly common door size. Now that might strike you as a little odd, but this doesn't work unless you're willing to be a little creative. Use your imagination. And I imagine a door sells for like a hundred bucks, wouldn't you think? They say red oak on the bottom, so it should be easy money. I hope I don't have to hang on to them for too, too long. Onward! We made it to our next location. We are now in the Windy Highlands, where um, I actually was checking this place out last week. I didn't uh, bring you guys with me because I wasn't sure if I was going to turn or anything. But a couple of these, uh, they're... They're sort of complicated alleyways, but a couple of them are pretty decent, so we'll see if that stays, remains, is true this week. Come on. Huh. Hey. Decent. Huh. Those are pretty nice. I'm not gonna take them because the you know they're obviously worn right out. But I could glue the leather back on, and it'd probably be perfectly usable. But I'm not gonna. It's so wet and sticky today. Another product box. And two more of these. Fine. I'll tell you straight up though, I am rapidly losing my interest in product boxes. They just don't move very quickly. I have sold a couple of them, like two or three at 10 bucks a piece, so that's fine. But my eBay space is really limited and they take up a lot of space because there's so many of them. This wind is causing me a little trouble though. This stuff keeps floating away and you know me, I don't like to make a mess. I like it a lot more than the freezing cold though. I don't think I've actually mentioned this. It's uh, plus seven today. It's really warm, which just means all of that snow that we just got is melting and it's really slushy and sticky. That's why I got stuck. Now this little mini I remember from last week wasn't totally worth it, but there was like one or two bins that had about a dollar each in them. So if I could remember which ones those were, this would be a lot quicker. All right, that's it, we're done this one. Altogether, I think that was only like a dollar fifty for the whole thing. Which doesn't sound worth it, it doesn't feel worth it either. Ooh, hello. 
That's a good sign. Fine, whatever. We'll bring the shaving kit. But it only took five minutes. It's twelve dollar fifties an hour. Ten, fifteen. So it's eighteen dollars an hour. Maybe it is worth doing. Well, I suppose I could find all sorts of ways to shave the time down bit by bit. Well, would you just look at that? Belt seems pretty new. It says genuine leather. It's reversible. That's cool. And a little aluminum. You know what these are? These are the, um, uh, you just corkscrew it into the ground and tie your dog to it when you're in a park. Doesn't work if you got an especially rambunctious dog, though. Got to say, I'm a little disappointed. One of these bins was spectacular last week. This week, not so much. That's definitely what I was hoping for. Okay. Uh, too much glass. That seems a little crazy. It's almost like they knew I was coming and got everything ready for me. Had everything separated, bagged up. They even crushed the all the milk jugs and everything. Blessings. You are a legend. Hello, look at here. One reversible belt. One smell of denim vest. And one big ass sack of bottles. I'd say today's really coming together. There's one more loop I had in mind. So let's see if we have enough time slash battery power to show you guys some of that. All right, let's rip through this real quick like. I wonder. It doesn't feel right. All right, well, I guess we're on another exploring mission. Because I'm already out. Ah, exploring, exploring. Oh, it's loose. that. This battery lasts so much longer when it's not minus 20. I'm so pleased right now. Battery died. We're back home. That turned out pretty good. Just barely below average, but that's still pretty decent on one of my off days. I'm really glad I was able to piece together something so um, worthwhile. And I found a bunch of neat stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make the time to like piece that together and show you a haul thing. I'll let you know later on. Uh, right now I need to run and do a, I made an eBay sale. One of these, one of these bad boys. I was actually, I'm not stoked on the price I'm getting for it. I, that's $10. Um, which would be fine if I got it for free, but it's one of the few items that I actually invested in. And it cost me five dollars, so five dollars, that's like, I'm only profiting two to three dollars on it, which sucks. That is definitely not worth listing at all, but I need to move them. I think I, I kind of learned a lesson with these items when it comes to, um, I might actually do better selling them on Amazon, which would be worth a shot, but I just don't think there's a whole lot of people buying them. 
Maybe I could sell them locally for 10 bucks. Anyway, gotta wrap that up. And thankfully I've got some bubble mailers that should be fine. And we're gonna take that out. There's a couple other errands I need to run. Gosh darn it, slushy today. Oh yeah, you like my new vest? Yeah, it is, uh, it is a gross day, that's for sure. Okay, quick story time. So I'm out running one of my errands and I stopped at uh, Durant's work just to say hey and pick up a thing. And then I go to leave just saying goodbye to him and there's this, uh, so it's super slushy out, right? There's big, like, puddles of slush and water and everybody's getting it all over their pants. So uh, this guy, <laughs> He's not the first person we see, but he's the first person who's swearing up a storm when he's doing it. He's just like, loud, top of his lungs, like, you know, top shelf swear words kind of thing. He's uh, goose stepping through the slush and just shouting and screaming. And uh, so I'm just like, I'm looking straight at him and I'm grinning and chuckling to myself because like, everybody's doing it. I did it. Everybody's pants are slushy, but nobody else is losing their minds over it. So he looks at me and just like, just a spittle coming from his face and he's like, what are you laughing at? Rah! And just like, <laughs> heaves this iced tea, like a bottle of iced tea, at the wall of the store. And he just leaves it there and wanders in. So like, I didn't mean to troll him or cause grief, but uh, yeah, I picked it up. I got myself a free iced tea. It's not like I didn't enjoy it. Does that happen to you guys? You just, I hate driving at night. I really don't like, um, it's probably because my windshield kind of sucks, but when it's dark and all the lights are flying by you and you just cruise into your music and there's really not many people on the road, it's just, uh, it just feels so pristine and peaceful and I, I appreciate any excuse I have to drive around the city at night. Highway? No thank you. Keep it to yourself. Driving that. I really thought someday the whole newness of driving, the freedom, I thought that would wear off. It hasn't. Years later, I still love just cruising. I, I blew through like 20 bucks in gas today though, so that was kind of stupid. But I think it was worth it in the end. Uh, I picked up, so these errands, I didn't really show you guys these, but the one thing, uh, this, um, it's, it's stupid. It's the tiniest, it's a printer. It's a tiny little printer that Bluetooth connects to your phone, and these are the replacement cartridges. You pay 10 bucks, and you get 20 of these, and they basically work like a Polaroid. Prints out photos like this. It's actually a sticker as well. It's sticky back and it's really cool. Look, like edge to edge printing. The quality does kind of suck. It's got a little bit of artifacting and the, the color balance is a little wonky. So you'd want to spend some time editing it. That's kind of a shame. And honestly, I would never buy one of these things for myself, but it's a gift for someone who is going to absolutely love it and use the heck out of it. I think of it like a Polaroid camera, but in the modern times. It's also got a ton of options for like the emojis and borders and all sorts of dumb stuff. Then the other thing I picked up are these. Now that seems like kind of a dumb thing that you wouldn't expect me of all people to go and purchase, but I needed a specific one and I finally found one on Kijiji for a price I was willing to pay. It's just like a mailbox exchange kind of thing. But they put both of them in because I wasn't sure exactly which one would work and this one is all taped up on the end so they and more than that, it's got like a bunch of kinks and open chunks and it's just not in good condition. So they just 
gave that one to me as a free gift along with the other one. So I paid 10 bucks, and it turns out they both work. For this laptop that I found, that I was sure it was going to be broken or something. You might remember seeing it, but it's actually, it's pretty legit. I don't know if you can tell, but this one, like just look at the styling on that. Aluminum top. It's got a bunch of, um, it's got two M2 SATA expansion ports down here, 8 gigs of RAM, like a one terabyte hard drive built in. Windows 8 Pro, so it can't be that old. It works great and it is leagues better than the laptop that I was currently using, so I'm gonna replace mine. And it's just cool to be able to upgrade like that for a total cost of $10. Now in terms of today's haul, you guys already saw everything as I picked it up, but if you wanted to see the uh, whole collection, I'm definitely gonna put that on Instagram, so check me out over there. One of them being this, uh, this vest, which I like, but unfortunately, I'm getting a bit of a reaction around my neck, which always happens to me with uh, with cheap fibers or um, abrasive fibers. So I just don't think I'm hardcore enough to rock a denim jacket, even though it totally looks good. Eh, works great though, so I guess I'll sell it um, to someone with a little more, yeah, who's a little more redneck, a little more rough around the edges than I am. Just saying something because I'm pretty rough around the edges. Oh, can't believe I almost forgot this. When I dropped off that uh, package to the post office, somebody sent me a postcard. Christy sent me this from Hawaii, explaining that aloha literally translates to the joyful sharing of life energy in the present. I like that word a lot more now that I know what it means. No wonder they say it when they meet somebody and when they're saying goodbye. And seriously, how awesome is that? A postcard. I have never gotten a postcard. I know that seems super mundane, but thanks for thinking of me. Much aloha to you, Christy. I hope you're leaving it better than you found it. Spread some love. Keep doing the thing. Mm -hmm.